How's it going everyone? I think coming out of Summer Game Fest, one game that took everybody's breath away was the sequel to a acclaimed title from 2013 in Dragon's Dogma 2. We have some details to go over that game in this video. Unfortunately, one game that looks like it won't be coming to fruition, at least not anytime in the near future, that is Titanfall 3. The game was in fact in development before being cancelled, we'll talk about that, and a major horror title will be coming to PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2 in August, we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Dragon's Dogma 2, again, if you look at the entire lineup of games showcased at Summer Game Fest. Loved myself a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Loved a lot of the stuff Microsoft showed off, especially Starfield. Starfield, I think, is going to be a blowaway game, and I think that Starfield directed a lot of good in at least quelling a lot of my pessimism towards the game. I was a little bit pessimistic prior to the Starfield Direct, man. Now I'm all sold on that game. But another game I think myself and many of you are excited for is the sequel to the beloved Dragon's Dogma and Dragon's Dogma 2. Capcom has been on an absolute hot streak, dropping high quality game after high quality game. Their work on Monster Hunter, Resident Evil, and Street Fighter has been something that a lot of publishers can take notes on, and now they're doing a game that a lot of people wanted to see a sequel for. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 1 didn't blow the doors off everything commercially, but I think Dragon's Dogma 2 is poised to do incredibly well. Now, this will still be an open-world challenging action RPG, and we have some information about the game itself. Obviously, it being in an open world, how big is this world going to be? Well, it's going to be around four times the size of what was explored in the original game. So, the fact that you're talking of four times the size of the open world, this is going to be a massive, massive game. A more open-ended, systemic experience with players being able to choose how to tackle challenges throughout the game. And, of course, Dragon's Dogma 2 will feature an emphasis on the pawn system. This time around, it does look like it's going to be better developed, more customizability options, and you're going to have... Uh, support pawn, one primary pawn that is going to be fully customizable, and then two support pawns on top of that, and it's going to make the game feel like more of a cooperative journey. How that'll be implemented without actual co-op will be interesting to see, but the game thus far, from what we've seen, has looked very, very good, and also... We did get some insight on new uh, content of the game, characters and whatnot, the deep explorable fantasy world of Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma is a single-player narrative-driven action RPG that challenges players to choose their own experience from the appearance of their unique arisen, their vocation, their party, how to approach different situations, and more. And throughout the game, you are going to be joined by the pawns, as I mentioned. Now, the game... Based on the fact that we are getting a sizable amount of gameplay, I have to think it's relatively far along. What does give me a bit of pause as far as saying that it's a 2024 game is it seems like with Summer Game Fest, the games that are scheduled for 2024 had a 2024 release window attached to them, and otherwise, games did not have a release window attached to them. With Dragon's Dogma, I feel like the game is pretty far along, and based on the fact that they're showing us this much, I'd have to think that right now they're internally targeting for fall of 2024, but you don't want a Pragmata situation, and I don't think Dragon's Dogma 2 is going to be that, especially given we are getting a sizable amount of gameplay already. But if Capcom is still a bit in flux on whether or not this will hit fall of 2024, you shouldn't push the cart before the horse too much and, uh, you know, schedule the game for fall and then ultimately delay the game. Uh, you know, from the Microsoft conference, there was a lot of stuff that I was excited for, but it was just like, man, we're not getting release windows on these games, and I get it. Don't say 2024 if you can't hit that window, but it looks like, you know, a lot of the games that people were looking forward to, Fable... Probably not 2024. Clockwork Revolution? Probably 2026. So, uh, let's hope Dragon's Dogma 2 does end up being a 24 title, but even if it's early 25, that's around the window. I would put it either fall of next year or early 2025, but another major game, open world action RPG, and man, if this turns out to be another IP that Capcom can rely on, that would be their fourth big budget major IP. I don't really put Mega Man and, you know, IPs like that in that category, but when you're talking about Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, Resident Evil, and then Dragon's Dogma as well, that is a massive, massive portfolio of titles. And don't get me twisted, Mega Man is something I'd like to see them do more with. Right now, they're gonna do the uh, offline game, so 
We'll see how that turns out, but Dragon's Dogma definitely going to be something that uh, is going to resonate with a lot of people. All right, moving on from that, Titanfall 2 is a game that I thought resonated with a lot of people. Unfortunately, Titanfall 3 never came to fruition, and rather, uh, Respawn had pivoted towards working on Apex Legends. In an interview with the Burn Network, uh, Respawn Entertainment veteran Muhammad Alavi spoke that Titanfall 3 was in fact in development for 10 months before pivoting to Apex Legends, and he claims that the dev team was feeling pretty decent about what it was working on, but recognized that Titanfall 3 wasn't going to be revolutionary like its predecessor. At the same time, the multiplayer team was having a hell of a time trying to fix multiplayer in Titanfall 2, and things fizzled out. And then PUBG came out. Alavi recalled uh, adding that Titanfall 3's dev team started playing around uh, the Battle Royale genre, which led them to designing the Battle Royale map with Titanfall classes, and that's how Apex Legends came to be. Now, I can say what I want about my disappointment uh, Disappointment about Titanfall 3 not coming to fruition. In the end of the day, Respawn did cultivate something incredibly successful with Apex Legends and in an environment where all you can really ask for is a live service title that's going to have a sustained and consistent user base that's engaged with the experience, and that is exceedingly difficult to do these days. I think Respawn did about as good as you can when it comes to doing uh, something like that. So even though Titanfall 3 didn't come to fruition and I would have preferred that to even Apex Legends, uh, because Battle Royale not really in my wheelhouse these days, I understand that what they delivered uh, ended up actually being uh, something that, you know, in retrospect, probably was the right move, all things considered. Lastly, I do want to note one more thing. The Ghost Hunting title and Phasmophobia will be coming to PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. This has been an exceedingly popular game over on PC doing incredibly well. Phasmophobia is a four-player online co-op psychological horror. Paranormal activity is on the rise and it's up to you and your team to use all the ghost hunting equipment at your disposal in order to gather as much evidence as you can. The game has had 455,000 Steam user reviews, a staggering amount of reviews. 96% of those reviews are positive. The game is an early access on Steam um, and it's priced at $13.99. I imagine that price point will ultimately go up when the full version version does release, but um, yeah, they even know that in their early access outline, so I would imagine maybe $19.99, $24.99 for the release on PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. We'll see how that turns out, but if you want a multiplayer horror game, this is as good as you're going to get, and uh, it should be coming sometime in August, and that's going to do it for me. Again, Dragon's Dogma looks to be a massive game in scale with an open world four times the size of the original. Incredibly excited for that game. Let's hope fall of 24, maybe early 25. I think that's a window that uh, Capcom is going to be able to hit. Titanfall 3 was in development for a while, unfortunately, ultimately canceled, and Phasmophobia coming to PS5 and PSVR 2 in August. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.